This is a quick walkthrough on how to disable the bed leveling at the start of each print. On uh, smaller prints, obviously you don't want to wait 6-7 minutes for it to do its bed level. On bigger prints, if the printer hasn't been moved or anything out of whack, you might not need it, which you don't technically need to level every time. Some people like to just for fun. Uh, so here we have just a random print part down here. All you got to do is go up. You'll see your uh, printer listed here. So to the right of it, select little this little setting right here. And in here, it's going to say machine G code. Select it. This is your start G code. And if you scroll down, it's a little ways down. You'll see these little these headers. This is telling you what each step is. So that's the preheat of the bed, that's turning the fans on. Keep scrolling down and you'll see one that says start bed leveling. So there's prepare print, wipe nozzle. Wipe nozzle. So here's bed leveling. It's just over halfway down, at least on the P1P. So what you want to do is select the top and just scroll down. So drag over the whole thing until you get to the bed level end. And then you're going to want to hit backspace or delete. doesn't matter. Now you can see here, there's one, two, three, four. It's four breaks. It technically doesn't matter, but for consistency, we're going to go ahead and re remove two of them so that it stays two breaks, just like all the other ones do between theirs, like this one, for instance. Just do that, and then go up and hit Save. And now it's going to ask you if you want to just make that as a copy. What I recommend doing is removing the copy and put in no bed level or no leveling or something to let you know that in that profile, it's not going to uh, level the bed. You can see here it says already exists because I made one. So once you hit save and you hit enter, you're good. Now over here on this top, once you set that, like if we had clicked save, it's going to come up as no bed leveling. So once you do that, that'll be your profile there. Now let's say in the future, all right, you're having uh, bad adhesion problems or it's not printing flat anymore, at least you suspect, or if you move the printer, you click up here and then go to your profile, click the system preset, which is this one right here. And now you're going to have bad leveling again. You can run it for one print and then you can switch back to your no bad leveling later on. That's it.